and harvest has officially started. We're on lentils right now. Uh, only one combine, uh, so it's a little bit slow, but we're going. So I came out to the farm to help Matt because my brother had to go into the city to haul lentils. But we don't have walkie-talkies. I don't have anything in this vehicle, so he's texting me about what I have to what I have to do. I don't really know what I have to do right now. So I'm just standing here watching him. Okay, so he gave me an update. Oh, I lost the dog. One boy is going to go with Matt. I guess it's still pretty green here, so he's going to go to the other side of the field, do a couple passes to see what that's running at. But uh, yeah, I guess my services are not needed other than to bring snacks, which is good. So uh, we won't be running very late, but uh, so it. Oh, I should call the dog. So harvest is officially started, but kind of not really. We're anxious to get started. Morning everyone, just heading out to the field here. It's 7.30 right now, we're doing lentils. This is our third day of going. There's somebody, gotta wave to everybody. Live in small town Saskatchewan, you gotta wave to everybody. Anyways, we are in like day number four. We've been kind of running only about half days there, uh, combine and lentils. Having a few issues with new combine, old combines. Uh, thank God we have three of them in the field because I've been playing musical combines here the past couple of days But just get the kinks all worked out. I'll give you a little video of what I'm doing So there's our High speed disc, mm, lights terrible, tandem fuel wagon, and then the assortment of combines. So job number one is to work on this combine here. This is her 9770 suns. It's already 26 degrees or something here right now. Oh. Everything's fixed here now. We uh changed uh, some night sections and some guards on the header uh, we got uh, combines filled up uh, didn't get the windows clean but yeah, everything's ready to go just moving into the field here now you can kind of see I'll take some pictures after let's go steer with one hand here Oh, a little bit of kosher. Try a wider lens on this thing. Anyways, see Keith going up in the far end here. We're doing red lentils today, maximum red lentils. Got about 300 acre, 400 acres out of this 520 acre field. We got a little bit left. We've had some trouble with some green and different areas, so first field or first four fields I guess it's four fields in one so yeah we're giving her it's about three or four days into harvest we haven't been doing many videos because we've been uh, pretty busy trying to get everything set and ready to go. So here's the auger we use for the main bins. 
And actually, as fast as I can put it in the bin, Robbie's hauling it right to Saskatoon to Viterra, so it's kind of nice. So this is uh, the tandem axle grain trailer that we've always used, and uh, we normally don't put it on the Peterbilt, but this year we rented a tri-axle to haul to Saskatoon, um, so I'm using this unit. It kind of sucks right now, it doesn't have AC and it's uh, 36 above today, so she's a little warm. A little bit about the auger, it, uh, 13 inch by 90 feet, I think. So it reaches quite a, quite a bit. And it's got the easy reach. So this is telesco telescoping right here. And uh, so it's really easy for semis. You don't have to move the semi. You can actually, uh, you can move it back and forth and, and uh, in and out. So. Oh, won't let me when uh, it's got weight on it, but. Lots going on anyways, so we're on lentils. Uh, we're just about, we're pretty much about 550 acres in of uh, 1100, so about half done. And then uh, we're gonna, we're running two combines in the lentils right now. We're gonna run one combine tomorrow, I think in the wheat, try to get the, get going on the wheat. And it can be hauled right into Saskatoon too, so that's kind of nice, so. There, the load's done, so I'll show you a little bit about the auger. So it's all hydraulic. It comes out side to side. You can uh, unload both hoppers without moving, like I said, and then it telescopes. I'm just in the process of moving bins. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So. You got all that reach. So one thing this year, it's a little new to us. Uh, we're really dry and uh, it's really hot. So we're doing things a little bit different this year. We're trying to start in on the crops a little early. Uh, like two points uh, more moisture just because by the time that we're done, uh, it'll be over dry. And a lot of the elevators will paper blend, which means you can haul in a little bit of tough, you can haul in a little bit of dry, and at the end of the day it works out. So, one thing we were talking about is starting the lentils at 20, and uh, they never did, uh, they never were at that, but dry is 13, and I think we started about 14. Uh, but anyways, when we were talking about doing 20, uh, these are uh, these couple bins here are our uh, wet bins for the dryer But what we did is we went and purchased uh, This cable right here is actually an OP sensor, which is Temperature sensors inside the bin. So there's seven or eight temperature uh, uh, Sensors in there, so you take this little machine here and I'm just gonna do this with one hand so it might be a little difficult. I'll show you guys pretty neat and it's actually very, very accurate. I'm hoping I can do this. There we go. And then uh, you just turn it on. And there is all my sensors. So you can see uh, the very bottom of the bin is 26 and it goes up from there. I got a couple 40s. With, uh, with it being 36 above and we're combining, this is something that you want to watch. Um, it will go down once it frees a little bit. Um, but I'm not, very, I'm not too concerned right now because like I said it's going right to Saskatoon. So. This is uh, more so just for some homework and to get used to it. And more than likely put more sensors in the bins that we're storing grain all year. And then that way you can check it every day and see what it's doing in the winter time. You'll know if you got a hot, uh, hot spot and then you'll have to turn it. So pretty cool tool. Ooh, my hair, my uh, 
dad's been watering people's lawns. He's watering lawns and children today. These guys, these guys are some kind of crazy. He's gonna make one more pass by the yard here. You can hear him. He's coming in. So here's the truck and trailer that we've been sending to Saskatoon. That's uh, our 99, no, 96 Kenworth. We've had for a couple of years. L900, W900L actually. Nice truck. This is the trailer that we rented. It's a tri-axle trailer. Like I said, we kind of wanted Super Bs, but this is what we got. So it'll work. Just loading with lentils right now for Robbie for the morning. We had another guy uh, that's gonna haul most of the contracts up to the city. He started today, but he's gonna take off camping for a couple days, so Robbie's gonna fill in the void. We've been shut down for a day, actually. Uh, we got done out west and came, moved back east, and uh, the lentils weren't ready. We tried some wheat. Sorry, it's loud. We tried a little bit of wheat, but uh, it wasn't quite ready either. We haven't sprayed it, we haven't swathed it, nothing. We just tried straight cutting it uh, the way it was and it's not quite ready. But uh, give it a couple days and I think it will. So something else I was doing today is I was replacing this rope for the bin lid openers with uh, steel cable. Because over time uh, the rope just disintegrates and you gotta replace the rope and it always happens in harvest time when you're in a hurry and all that stuff so I had a few minutes so I did this make it a little easier for guys pretty slick these are the fertilizer bins but uh, they're not full of fertilizer yet uh, we did purchase some fertilizer for next year but they haven't delivered it yet so I'm gonna probably film with wheat I like to uh, the reason why we line up bins in two different rows is one row you could be bringing grain in from the field and the other row you can be hauling out to Saskatoon or wherever you're going so it works pretty slick and then you don't congest the yard me and Matt uh, decided that we should probably upgrade the tandem there's the old tandem sitting over there that's a 1984 Ford. It still runs really good, just don't really want to put a whole pile of miles on it. And it uh, doesn't have a huge motor in it. It's only about 225 horse, so it's really hard on the coolie, driving through the coolie. So there's our old swingway auger that we use for fertilizer and lentils. Don't smash up the new one. But here is the new tandem, well, to, new to us. It's a 99 Kenworth T800. It is one beautiful truck. It's in very good shape. We got it in Humboldt from a farmer. Um, he said that his dad stretched the frame. It used to be a highway truck. And about 10 years ago, they stretched the frame, put a box on it. And since then, they haven't used it. They used it for a harvest for a couple of years in springtime. It's got a pintle hitch, so he pulled the liquid trailer for spring. And then uh, actually just stayed in the yard to be his dryer truck, I guess. So, it's pretty sweet. Lots of horse, 13 speed. Lots of power. Oh. Hey, Kona. Your ear's inside out. What's going on? Where's the shade? 
<laughs> it's been, uh, I think it hit 36 yesterday and 35 today, so it's been really warm and we're always looking for jobs to do either in the shade or of course AC. Uh, Matt started opening up the wheat today with the swather and made it a couple rounds and the AC quit. So we quit that job. We went to see, uh, there was a fire north of us, so we went to see what was going on there. A uh, farmer did uh, end up having a fire and it was close to the lake, so they had the fire department and grader and a whole bunch of stuff out there trying to put it out. It, uh, like I said yesterday, it is very dry, so precautions. We uh, do have our vertical till hooked up to the tractor, ready to go. And we will uh, follow the combines with that thing and leave it in the field. And if we need it, we it's there, hooked up, ready to go. On our last field, the lentils, our last half section of lentils. Probably our cleanest lentils that we have. There are a little bit of thistles and stuff along the edge there, which is common. Uh, yeah, harvest is clicking along here. Uh, this will make a thousand acres done of lentils and we've done part of a half section of wheat already. The yield's a little uh, down but uh, all things considered pretty good. Mm -hmm. 